Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to FIFA Mobile Live. Just gonna say that song is a great song to come into. I'm here with TAC. How's it going, TAC? That song is a banger. You were right. We're here. We are live. We're ready. I'm happy. You're happy. How's chat doing today? <laughs> Where are you tuning in from? So I'm nodding my head here. <laughs> nah, we can't. We can't with that music. I, I, I don't know. I just get in the mood. I just get happy. It's it's time to show the community, you know, all sorts of new stuff that we have prepared for them. So I'm excited. I'm excited too. Um, it's going to be a good one. You can already tell by our backgrounds. We're synced up here. Stars are out. I don't know if that's the players, the people on the show, but in any case, you guys are all stars. I am ready for an awesome show. I can see there's tons of people tuning in from all over the world, as usual. Uh, Nigeria, I think I saw Paraguay, Turkey, always great. Bangladesh, fantastic. Loving it's it. It's a global community, man. Yep. It is great. Hey. And everybody knows of the retro stars, the players that are coming out for this event are going to be fun. Community focused, a lot of fan favorites. Um, a lot of players we both like and we chose as well. So I'm excited for that. I want to show it off to everybody. Um, but before we get there though, Tack, there is some important news that went out. Um, you want to handle this one? You want to tell community what, what kind of went on? All right. If you aren't um, aware already, uh, big change in coming new daily reset time. Uh, we understand it's something that it will make the lives uh, of some easier, some harder. It's something that's literally impossible to, you know, hit the spot for, for everyone because we're seeing in the chat, it's a global community, right? And obviously yeah. uh, changing the reset time uh, impacts the whole world in, in many different ways. Um, if you want to learn more about how the new reset time is going to work, um, our team here, EA Jason will drop a link in the chat with more information. So you can check in all like the major cities uh, what the new reset time is. Uh, so basically it's 18 hours prior to the actual reset time. So that means in other hand that, well, retro starts coming in a little bit earlier, <laughs> which is nice because I'm really, really excited to talk about retro stars. So. We'll be keeping close tabs of the feedback, you know, and I know it's a change that affects a lot of people and um, we'll, be, we'll be all eyes and all ears uh, out there for you guys. Exactly. Yeah, it's, I, we know it's a it's a big change from years of the same reset time. Um, but like Tack mentioned, if you want to go check what time is in your region, um, we did drop the link in there. It's also on our Twitter. Um, but on the other hand, Retro Stars comes out. 18 hours earlier, we're on the show a day earlier, um, and we got a lot of cool stuff to go through. So I think that was our only housekeeping item for us to, to go through before we get the show on the road. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you attack, we've got some cool stuff. If you're if you're ready to head into to Retro stuff. Stars. I am, I'm more than ready. Let's do it. All right, chat, if you came yeah. in, you're in the the early squad here, first five minutes. We're gonna throw right into Retro Stars, you know? We, we've got our player art video here, the player item. Um, we haven't revealed it. If you notice, normally we put it on the socials before coming in so you know what to expect. We held it back today, you know? It's a different day for the live stream. We're gonna come in with an exclusive look at that video. Um, we think you'll like it. I know we both liked it, but let's let's bring it up on screen. Bam, look at that. It's different, ain't it? It is nice. A little bit of that Star Pass feel. Still gets that retro color scheme going. Um, there's a lot to take in on this. Yeah, this art literally screams uh, retro stars. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Yeah, that is nice. Um, another thing as well, if you, if you notice, underneath the bottom of the star, there's that little um football and kind of the the wreaths around it um 
the player item name will just go kind of floating in there. So a little bit of a different setup than what we've we've had outside of the, the Star Pass. Um, but I like it. Um, aesthetically, it looks really nice in a team when you've got like a full team of say like icons and some different player items. And you've got a couple of these like retro stars items that are just in there. It looks really nice. Kind of like they're the stars of your team. Um, but exactly. we'll show that a little bit Breaks later. Down a little yeah. bit. Exactly. There's there's a poll in chat. Uh, tell us in star ratings, pun intended. Uh, how do you rate retro stars art? I'm rating these five stars. I'm biased, of course, but yeah, that's that's my opinion. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. You were mentioning like when you have like one or two of them there, it really looks like they're they're like the star players from, from your team. And I really like how it kind of like breaks down, and it's like so different that it really stands out. And it's a bit intimidating when you know, like you're pumping up a head-to-head -head match, and you see like the lineup, and your eyes are instantly drawn to to the stars. <laughs> exactly, and we'll see a little bit later. But the the players that are in this event that have the star player item, because not all of them have it. Just as a as a heads up, only like the top players in the event have this star player item. Others will have come kind of more of a basic retro stars look. Um, but the players that are in this player item art deserve it. They're all big names. They're all guys that you've loved to use for the past year and beyond. Um, and I think they, they wear this, this star player item quite well. Absolutely. And it looks like our vote has ended. And hey, I guess you guys agree with me. Five stars, star art, star everywhere. It's a star. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> five stars. Look at that, seventy-seven percent. Beautiful. Um, I like that. I like showing the the player item art in in chat. It's good. People get a an exclusive yeah. first look at it. We used to do it. We should do it more. It's fun. Let's do more of this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So you were mentioning we, uh, the the. You were mentioning players, the right? that are going to post uh, these this stars. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Um, Let's do it. the first player banner on the screen? Oh, look at look that. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Let's take a moment, breathe, relax, you know, do the meditation pose from Holland. And uh, let's take it in. <laughs> uh, look how the, the stars literally star in the retro stars star art <laughs> you can see holland there neymar personal favorite because you know i'm from brazil um as you can see also i think what's really interesting about the player items that you see they have um many of them have action shots that are a throwback from past events so i think you can recall for example Kvaratskhelia from from league tour when we released him you know uh, ederson from road to the finals and you see l udo g from from future stars so i think it would be awesome to you know like look back at these players and kind of like recall um, some of the events that really, really marked uh, this season for us as FIFA Mobile players. Out of these guys, Antoine, uh, who who really like stands out here for you? I'm curious. Yeah, I mean, just going back, I, I know they're like 108s, but and 107s, but I do remember that Dodo in that conference league in group stage uh, challengers being kind of a fun item to play with. Um, even going back that that Ederson, the 112 UCL, it kind of feels like we've seen him for such a long time because of the way the the UCL a live OVR works. Um, Renato Sanchez, I feel like he's he's been around for a while in FIFA Mobile, just being a really good um, all around center mid. And then that Sanchez, um, people love Alexis Sanchez in their team. So there's a lot of good players here. But like I want to mention because I see chat being a little. Um, rowdy maybe is we've got two more of these player banners plus there's tons of other players in this event we haven't showcased yet um, so I feel like yeah we got to showcase the rest of these banners before we get a full picture of what's going on absolutely there's a lot more to show <laughs> <laughs> so yeah let's get let's get over to, to player banner team two let's take a look at who we have there and look at this some more stars Ooh. another 117 striker um 
and then some 116s there. Who are you seeing, Tack, that really uh, that stands out for you? I mean, we cannot uh, keep our eyes out of Ronaldo there, right? Um, personal favorite of me. Um, no, like looking class. Is this from team of the season, his action shot? Pretty sure it is. Uh, I think it's looking really, really class. It's going to be one of the best players in game. Uh, but I, I am really, really fond of the Vini Jr. As you can recall, Chad, it's it's the same action shot. When he was released in the semi-final chapter in UCL, it was a free-to-play item. I had a lot of fun with this Vini Jr. on my team. So if I ever get my hands on him uh, and put him on lineup, it would be very good too. I like throw back a little bit, uh, remind me of you know all the goals that he scored for my my team. It'd be awesome. Exactly. I, I see a few people mentioning like why are they reusing the same uh, action shots, the same art, and that's kind of the the point of Retro Stars is that it's supposed to bring back previous player items that have happened throughout the past year that the the, the core community really enjoyed playing with, like a Vinny Junior in that 109. Um, and it's to use the same action shots when we can, so it feels kind of like a retro event. Like that Anaki Williams, what if? That Gavi, future stars. Carrasco, group stage challengers, when you got the 104 from the path. Um, these are all players that that are we're bringing back. It's not supposed to be brand new action shots. So if, if you're confused as to why it's the same image, that's kind of the point of retro stars. So um, it's a bit of a way to like celebrate the past year and, and really be excited about uh, what's happened in FIFA Mobile so far. Absolutely, you're totally correct. So let's let's get on to our third player banner here. Um, we have Team 3. It's a bunch of icons, which as well, if you're asking, why are they the same image? Well, again, these are going to be throwbacks to the past year, starting off with that 117 Petit and the 117 Beckham and 117 Vandersaar. Um, the Petit is a shapeshifter. The Beckham, if you guys remember, back in December, we had that 99 OVR Beckham center mid. Um, there's a bit of a throwback to that. It might be a slightly different image. And then the 117 Vandersar was a group stage challengers, the 104 event icon. If you were playing back then and played most of the event, you would get that 104. And that's a little bit of a paying homage to that as well. Prayers up for Vandersar. Um, in, in his recovery, speed of recovery to him. But uh, yeah, a lot of, lot of cool icons here. Tack, you want to take us the rest of the way in terms of some names to stand out for you and like what programs you saw them in? Absolutely. I'm, I'm an absolute fan of all the way then. Uh, it's just, just a, a notch faster than everyone else. Uh, I think I already mentioned before, but Rudy Voller, he gave me a lot of trouble in the past. Uh, he recently got a new edition, but he got this newest edition, Retro Stars, because he is a community favorite and players really, really seem to enjoy him. Uh, Rivaldo as a throwback from Shapeshifters, uh, also as a striker, which is very interesting at 115, stands out for me. But honestly, the the player that stands out for me here is Van der Sar. That, that 104 mm. player item was just iconic. <laughs> he was everywhere, he was so solid. Uh, and as like, a, maybe like a, a tuned down version here, at least in the, the ratings. Peter Jack would be also a great, great goalkeeper for most of the team's here's lineups. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I also remember that Morientes using, I wanna say it was the 106 Morientes from uh, Hero's Journey was a very good striker for his time there. And even that Dina oh, Talley, I, I wanna say it was 104. Yeah. That was fun. I think we played Remember with him on when we played each other and you just destroyed me with the Morientes. I, 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 I would never be able to forget that moment. It was total humiliation. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I mean, all, it was it was Morientes more than me, I think. He, he just stole the show. But, I mean, here's the chance, uh, Tack, to, to get him and exact some revenge. We'll play a head-to-head. -head. You can put him in your team. <laughs> Absolutely. That, let's do that. You let me win, please. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Let's do it. We should get it up on stream for next time. <laughs> Sweet. And speaking of some gameplay and head-to-head -head and just the overall game, while we got these banners up here, I'm just going to get the Retro Stars build set up on my phone here because I know we all want to see 
how does it look in game? How do I get these awesome players? Absolutely, I'm, I'm more than excited to show you all how the event's going to look like, um, showing a little bit more information about how to prepare ahead and what to expect. For sure, so I think I've got it up here and ready to go. We'll bring it up there for chat. Hey, there we go. Retro stars. Oh, look, look at that. At how Love it's the looking. art. Absolutely. It's very thematic. It's very retro. It's very starry. Um, all right. Should we start? Should we show this, this awesome event for the community? Let's do it. Let's head into this live all event right. section. What do you see in here? All right. So retro stars. It has begun. This is a four week event you're going to have a whole lot of awesome you know like daily challenges nodes skill games matches to play through i'm going to show you right here and right now so here we are this is the main chapter retro stars as you can see here and here you'll find the daily right uh you see level one level two level three you can complete all nodes uh in a single day and by completing each node you get some coins you get retro points and you also get daily target points uh, keep in mind that some of these nodes there you can complete more than once so don't miss out on any potential rewards um, so what you get um, let's start with the daily target points so once you get 12 daily target points every day you can claim the daily reward in the box to the right and you can choose either from a player item from 103 to 108 ovr or coins so it's really up to you. You can claim this every day. And just a note, if let's say you got 14 daily target points in a day, the, the two extra will not carry over for tomorrow. So just keep in mind that you have to uh, get 12 every day. And just backtracking a little bit, the nodes, level one, level two, level three, they do increase in difficulty. And at the end of like level two and level three, for an example, you have a VSA match on a head-to-head -head match. So as you see, the 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 notes and the challenges they're they're pretty intense they're they're very like there and i love this as a, a celebration for the community especially for the more hardcore players here uh it's going to be exciting to see you out there on the pitch maybe you'll match against me maybe you'll destroy me likely and it will be fun <laughs> for sure uh, speaking of uh head-to-head -head matches and in pvp and destroying tech uh <laughs> people mobile uh, there's Ranking Star, which is a weekend PvP mainly mode for you guys to enjoy. And this is a throwback to one of my favorite activities in an event, um, the weekend uh, ranking from World Cup event. It was awesome. It was incredible. It was sweaty at some points, but it was fun. It really like brings out. It was fun. It was fun. You it know, was, like competing yeah. at high level for high rewards. I think it was amazing. So here we are again, um, every weekend from Friday to Sunday, you jump into Retro Stars, you claim 10 tickets, and you have to make the best out of these 10 tickets. You uh, can choose between AI matches, uh, which obviously will not reward you as much as the other options, which are VSA matches and head-to-head -head matches. If you really want to maximize the output of the ranking points that you're getting, uh, you should go for the head-to-head -head matches, but not always you need all of them because you can hit the, the top rewards by not playing all the head-to-head -head matches as long as you win enough. So from Friday to Sunday, you play the matches and from Monday to Thursday, uh, you tap on the claim rewards section there and you claim rewards based on your ranking. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, the details lies on how well you're able to play, how well you're able, you know, to to manage your game, your mental, and your competitiveness, and go out there and chase the Ws. Yep, chase the Ws. Um, I expect a lot of people in chat here to be in that 90 plus section. Um, I think that 108 to 115 um, should be exciting, and even just the gems, the thousand gems and then playing some good head-to-head -head and verse attack. And if you notice, there's one Retro Star player you need it in your lineup uh, to play those verse attack or head-to-head -head modes. So just a quick shout out with that one. Uh, but like Tack said, I'm looking forward to this one. Should be a lot of fun. 
And it's a throwback to one of the, the best events in FIFA Mobile history. Um, I think we can all agree on that one. Totally there with you, Antoine. <laughs> exactly. High stakes, high rewards. That's what I'm all about. I, I really, really like it. For me, personal highlight. Absolutely. And let's go over now the rewards section, which is where you get to use your retro points. And I'm just going to show it like this. I don't want to give any hints yet. And then I'm going to scroll down like this, this vertical reward path. So chat, before I get into this, what was the last event in FIFA Mobile that had vertical reward paths where the columns would unlock a reward on each? This is for kind of the OG FIFA Mobile players. Let's see in chat, do people remember? Okay, I see a couple in chat, not bad, not bad. I th the answer I was looking for here was- that. Yeah, they got it, it was uh, Treasure Hunt Atlantis. So I don't think that was the most like memorable event in in the past few years, but it's more just like a different reward path format. Um, and I know that like the OGs, if you've been playing for a few years, you'll look and you'll remember this. So um, if you're a little newer though, the way it works is you come and take your retro points into a reward path, use them, and you need to unlock two of these columns to get one 110. And then the next third column, which unlocks a week from now, and then 14 days for the fourth, 21 days for the fifth. And as you unlock these, you can get more and more rewards. And if you get all the way to that 115 Rivaldo, it's at the end um, there. And um, just a quick little thing as well, a little different, is there's these skill games and PvE matches in the catch-up bonus, which unlocks after a week. And you can play these and you get some extra reward points here week three will get you 500 and then the final week gets you 700. So just a way to catch up if you missed a little bit in this event or you're just playing everything and you want as many reward, uh, rewards as you want and retro points as you can get. So um, kind of a little fun section. Um, it's a lot to do, um, but it's it's cool. It's a nice little throwback. And speaking of throwbacks, I'm really Tack, proud. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> let's, uh, another, let's get into this vintage collection. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. By the way, I'm really proud of the chat and the community for, you know, like just recalling Atlantis right out of the bat. It's, it really means a lot to, to see you guys that are sticking with us for such a long time. It's awesome to see you guys here. And that's why I think it's so special for us to kind of like uh, show this more like community focused event, you know, like, and you see in Vintage Collection, it's all about fame favorites. It's all about, you know, just like celebrating our own cultural community here and jumping into uh, the Vintage Collection. What you can do here is just like jump in every day, claim one of the 12 options of fame favorites. Um, most of them there are emotes, they're all animated. They're all like throwback from, you know, favorites from you guys. The ones that we see you spamming on top of me every time you, you score a goal, which is okay. I forgive you for that. It's awesome. They're all animated. They're nice. You just come here, claim one each day, and you can pick and choose from the order that you like. Of course, you have the, the 106, and I believe it's a 108 there uh, at the right bottom, and you get some extra gems too. So nice and easy sorry 107 nice and easy come claim uh and then we also have the retro box which are extra even more rewards for you so as you can complete the daily quests you get this this points and each time you get five you can claim one reward from the retro box uh each time you complete a round by claiming all, all the rewards there you unlock the next round so as you can see some of the favorites extra salt minster manager there <laughs> it's just, I, I i think hands down my favorite emote uh in game <laughs> this one is named very you know cleverly across the the ones who know will know <laughs> night night as you can also recall it's also it was a uh, um, community voted in discord so all in all it's the big celebration for, for the, the community. And as you can yep. see, the rewards are getting better. The, the, even the player items are, are pretty generous, in my point of view. 
with the one tens already there in round two. Hometown Homies is there. No, Mr. Manager, this is a fan favorite. I just like him. He, he just has like gotta have aura. him there. He's, exactly, he gives me happiness. And he goes up to a one, one to wealth uh, player item there with the screen team. And shout out to Summer Vacation Europe. It, it, I'll always cherish this, this event because that's when I first joined the team and I was, you know, getting excited about FIFA Mobile. I will always love Summer Vacation Europe. Favorite event after World Cup, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a nice little homage to a lot of the past uh, year plus of, uh, of events and the cool logos and emotes and um, a few kits actually in there, like the Scream Puff. I think there's that Thieves slash Renaissance kit. There's the Trick or Treat kit, the Toddy kit. So some fun little vanity items for you to get alongside some decent rewards too. So um, it's a nice little uh, retro section. Um, but that's not all. We do have one more section to get into, one more chapter, and that is just the Retro Stars team chapter here. So every day you come in, play some easy skill games and matches, and then you get to claim a 106 to 117 alongside some possible coins. You do that 20 times, you come in and you get your 114. So this is a really nice way here to get some good rewards for your team. Um, I think that 114 is gonna slot into most people's squads at this point. Um, and there's a good list of 114s in there if we look at who they are right here. I think most of these guys will will fit into your teams pretty nicely. <laughs> um, so I yeah, see Dubs in the nice. chat for that. Oh yeah. And then Tack, these were all the Retro Stars players, right? With with the actual star um, player item art. Absolutely. Look at them. They they look really nicely when they're together there. I really like it. It's like ring, brings back memories. It's awesome. Exactly, it's nice. So we're just going to go through a few extra things here, and that is just the daily quests and weekly quests. Um, very simple here, the, the usuals that you've been seeing, just your kind of dailies, then you get your weekly quests, and then from there there's some pass credit. Super simple and straightforward if you've been playing some recent events. That'll take you then into the Retro Stars Pass with the 115 Pepe. And actually, I want to know, chat, where was this what where was this Pepe player item last? Where did you get everyone in the community? If you were playing at that point in FIFA Mobile, you got this Pepe. Where was it from? Drop it in chat. I want to know. It's a little bit more recent. This one I can recall, yes. <laughs> yep. Oh, instant. Kudos to oh, you. Oh yeah, they got Kudos it. To you, chat. Yep. It was a community challenge from, from Scream Team. And actually, we all got the, the center back Pepe um, because we were able to complete the challenge together. So I, I think nothing fits the theme more uh, about celebrating community as the Pepe there. Exactly. And you can see it's on level 30 here to get that 115. There's a costage at 110. Um, and then as we've done with previous uh, passes like this is they'll just be coins if you go past it so um some extra rewards there but the main highlight is that 115 pepe which will be fun and i see a lot of dubs in the chat and, and people figuring out where they're from um so that'll be cool star pass it's already the same as is oh actually another thing to mention is that this pass is a two-week pass so there'll be a new pass coming out two weeks from now for retro stars um good shout out exchanges well, we won't look at the details on this one, Tack. We're just going to show that there are two exchanges. Yeah, secret. secret. <laughs> <laughs> and challenge mode, right? I think that's our last one to go. Challenge for mode, to yeah. Games. Exactly. And challenge mode is actually exciting. Um, we heard your feedback from challenge mode from Hall Legends. Uh, so we cranked up the, the rewards a little bit. It still functions basically the same way. Uh, your, your entrance fee is a million coins, but you're competing for, for more rewards and you're competing also for, for player items there. Uh, with your wins throughout the head-to-head -head gauntlet there, uh, you can go up to a 108 to 115 player item with the addition of coins. So uh, 
as you can see there's a lot of you know like competition it's very high stakes and i'm really happy to see like this level of uh challenge being being thrown there to, to our players i think it would be amazing I'll, I'll have a lot of fun yeah exactly like i've been playing the hollow legends one and even though it's just been coins it's been a good way to kind of flex that competitive muscle um because i know playing division rivals head to head gets a little stale at times if you've just been in the same um range for a while but i feel like i play against some different people here and in, in this uh challenge mode and i think the rewards getting up to that 108 to 115 um, I mean, I'm probably going to get a 108, but it's still fun to, to play those matches and get there um, just with the possibility of getting a really good reward. So I will be there. Um, conditions, if you were curious, there are no conditions. It's just a minimum 95 OVR. So your top team will do. Bring your top team into challenge mode. You might see Tak and I in there grinding it up in, in head to head. If you, exactly. if you see me there, throw me a bone. Let me win, please. I need them. <laughs> Just kidding. Do your best. Do your best. Let's compete. Yeah. <laughs> we promise we won't cross spam. <laughs> yeah. No, that that I promise. <laughs> yeah. Or lane change. Those are two things that I will never do in head to head. I, I just can't. Uh, I can't bring myself to do it. A maximum of one lane change, right? Uh, yeah. You know, like when you're there, like two, three lane changes. Uh, yeah. That's that's. That won't fly. <laughs> yeah, I gotta agree with that. It's just one lane change, maybe to get some space, and then after that, you gotta you gotta work your way with passing or some other way. Because I, I don't know, it just feels bad putting in like three straight lane changes. Exactly. But, it yeah. Feel right for me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we are at the section that a lot of you look forward to. But I feel like before we get into the player stats, let's just, I want to kind of take a little pause and let's see if we can get everyone's first impressions on the Retro Stars event as a whole. You saw it. There is a lot to do right now in Retro Stars. Some cool rewards, some cool vanity items, um, some great players, some good OVRs. How are you feeling, chat? Are we getting dubs in the chat here? What, what are we thinking? Uh, tell us. I'm really curious. Because personally, I am happy, but I'm only happy if you guys are happy. So let's see if I'm really happy. Ooh, some good dubs in the oh. chat here. It's great to see. Eight out of 10. Thank you, thank you. Fair. Mm -hmm. 11 out of 10. Ooh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, that's great. I, I think right. for the most part, people are, are looking looking forward to, to retro stars here. I mean, I am. I think there's a lot of cool things that haven't been in events for a while. Format is good. Um, I think rewards, for the most part, depends on how your team's looking. But I know I'll be taking that 114 and be pretty happy with it. And obviously, the rest is all bonus. But um, there's some extra stuff in there. But yeah, looking like some good, good, uh, re some good reviews, some good ratings. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Players. Thank you. Thank you. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. All right. Let's start it off here with the 117s with the main man here. Holland at 117. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot. Some good stats OVR overall um, with that finishing. Be curious for some of you to compare against his other high OVR items. And then. The other 117 we had here was Emmanuel Petit at 117, the CDM, 4-4 four and four again, and then the 154 defending, just a good all-around CDM. I think as some of you would probably want to be looking just at the, the work rates. I know with CDM, work rates are a little more contested than, than other positions. Mm -hmm. It's got a high high. Absolutely. can't forget he also has the, the hair buff, you know, like, it pretty, like... <laughs> It really like it contributes to his presence uh, on the pitch. <laughs> oh, absolutely! It's a ponytail, right? It has to be. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we got Vandersar here, VDS, as a lot of people in the community. Um, one seventeen. The positioning and reflexes. One sixty two. Um, no complaints here. <laughs> no, just a classic. And again, just wishing him a speedy recovery. Exactly. 
And then the 117 Beckham here as they throw back to that 99 OVRCM. One good all around. Passing. It does a lot of justice for, for the player that he is. Absolutely. You know, it's one of the highest passing ratings I've seen so far this year. That's crazy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's get into to Neymar here. I think a lot of people are excited to see Ney in this one. They've been asking for him for a while. 5-5, five, five, high dribbling, high shooting. It's it's Neymar in a player item. Uh, resumed. Great to see him there. Exactly. And then we'll go with his Brazilian counterpart here in Vinny. No complaints. 160 <laughs> pace, damn. <laughs> That's awesome. That's incredible to see. It's my first time seeing some of the stats there as well. So. Yeah, awesome <laughs> getting the, the first reaction tack with his Brazilian look. But yeah, no, this is Vinny, no complaints. 5-5, five, five, obviously. Whew. All right. And then uh, Al Oiran surprisingly does not have 160. He's at 159 here. So exactly. I was bit... I was really curious to see the pace there to see if he's going to talk Vinny, but no. Hey, it's one pace. Honestly, uh, exactly. would make a lot of difference. I don't know. <laughs> it's still high. <laughs> and then let's get into the last couple 116s. Here we have in the lineup Zanetti. I remember he's been one of the better right backs for icons people have been asking for. Um, so I think he will do really well in people's lineups here. Um, yeah, I think looking real good. Yep, class. And then this Rudiger here, 116. Ooh, physicality, 146. Very nice indeed. Seen some dubs in the chat. Uh, I love the throwback for the RTTF Rudy here. I bet lots yeah. of players in chat had him. Oh yeah, for sure. He was a fun one to use. Another fun player here to use is Renato Sanchez. We had him in uh, in Tots. Uh, he wasn't a Tots starter, but he was one of like the one thirteens or one twelves from from the extra Tots players. Tots moments. That was it. Um, but this one fifteen here blows him out of the water. This will be. So be some CM to be using, especially in head-to-head. -head. Yeah, having five-star weak foot uh, in center and mid, and being so like all around in terms of stats, is so useful. Oh yeah, and then to round out our little pre-made retro stars lineup here uh, is one fourteen Philip Lom, and if you remember those one fourteens in that final chapter, if you play twenty days, um, you can get one of these one fourteens. So Philip Lom, I think, would be a real good addition to most people's lineups, um, especially when you look at just the combination of defensive, pace, dribbling, and passing. Hard to complain with that from your left back. Agreed. And then I had some fun here. I made a second retro squad. Um, just put five in the back just for fun. And um, I'll start from the back this time with the 114s because we were just on the topic, right, with Lom. The other 114 that you can get from that that note is Mares. Um, could this possibly be his final Manchester City player item? We will see. Very likely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and then you can see here, yeah, the physicality, obviously that's not what Mares is about. It's about dribbling. It's about shooting. It's about pace. And then the other 114 here is Maxence Lacroix. 139 for a CB with 142 and uh, five star skill moves. Look at that. Five star <laughs> skill moves. That, that really popped up. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? All right. Let's have some fun. <laughs> yep. Take it. And then the player who is exemplified star for the short time he's been playing for Barcelona. This came from the Future Stars program. It is Gavi. Um, you can see there the passing and the dribbling. Pace as well is not bad. I know he's had some lower pace items in the past. Um, looks real good. 
Um, oh, I think a lot of people are asking to to show Ronaldo's 117. Uh, it's being in high oh, yeah. demand here. <laughs> Look at that one right there. Five five. Yes, nice physicality. One of the highest shooting in game. Not much else to add to that one. Yeah. But a player I've noticed is kind of been tormenting me in in head to head, where I've seen him a lot is a Rudy Voler. For some reason, I just struggle against him, Cantona. Um, these these guys just tear me apart up front. I know there's something about him. Is it the mustache? I don't know. Uh, he he just like terrorizes <laughs> my defense. <laughs> It's the look, right? Yeah, it's the vibe of the stash. That's what, that's what carries with all these goals. <laughs> oh, and then uh, another 115 was uh, Kavarat Shelia. Um, remember him from League Tour there. Got him at the 103. I want to say he's probably League like two. the biggest star we had in League Tour. Yeah, so this is a little bit of a throwback to that. I want to say it's the same action shot. Um, and then he had that 114 Utah. So this is actually plus one on that. Haven't compared the stats, but I'd imagine they are fairly similar. Um, still be a fun item to be using. And in terms of other fun ones here, some really pacey left back, Theo Hernandez. I think this is the toddy action shot, if I'm not mistaken, right? The you toddy one. Tell us in chat, guys. Yeah. If you yeah, if you I think it is. That, that's a lot to recall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So chat, confirm this one yes. for us. This is the Utahdi Theo, right? Yeah, it is the Utahdi one. That's what I thought. He was in a lot of people's teams. The Utahdi Theo. Yep. And actually, funny enough, I got to pull up another Utahdi that, for the memes, I think we got to show up <laughs> the Militao Utahdi for the memes. If you know, you know. <laughs> what a time it was. <laughs> what a time it was. We're all special at the oh. same time. We're all graced by the presence of the almighty yeah. Eder Militao. Best defender yeah, in Brazil. He... I, I don't mind it. He's still in my team. <laughs> exactly. Honestly, you still see him in a lot of teams. I know just at the time there was that like Utahdi Militao generator or whatever people were calling it. It was kind of like <laughs> a, a funny community moment. I think someone in chat explained it really well. If you, if you don't know the joke, <laughs> check out stat, uh, the chat there. So a little, a little throwback to that. Um, and then even further back was the Pepe from Scream Team that you guys were all guessing properly. Um, the one in the pass, actually. Overall, a nice looking 115, that 157 there. And pretty good pace for a guy who's approaching 40. Absolutely. And I keep his Scream Team version on my club as a talisman as well. <laughs> I'll have two now. It would be awesome. Perfect. Um, who else did we miss? Oh, I think we missed Bernardo Silva, the 113 here. This is another RTTF. Um, I remember some people were, were buying up this Bernardo Silva. Um, those who did probably did pretty well if they resold it or used it in any exchanges. Oh, and I think we actually forgot Ederson. Yederson. Oh, yes. Speaking of... Uh, sorry, Antoine, that was like a dream in terms of, of pronunciation. Ah, I tried. I tried. Ederson. Ederson. <laughs> Ederson. Speaking of <laughs> RTTF investments, I still regret to this day not purchasing like 30 Edersons with my entire coin balance. Because with the one that I purchased for like 30 mil, uh, it was a pretty happy investment. It was great. <laughs> so yeah, good from Yeah. Like, and classic. It, it was a good throwback. It was a fun time when people were like watching the the UCL matches, and then like they'd show their their inventory with like thirty Edersons or whatever, twenty five Grealishes, and then you could see like the actual ups and downs of the market while the matches and the ties were going underway. It was, I think, the first time in FIFA Mobile I can remember that people were watching matches um, that closely and trying to like connect it to their time in the game. So. Um, if you did really well with this Ederson investment, quote unquote, let us know in the chat. We we are very curious. And um, just want to pull up the rest here of our Retro Stars players. I also need to apply the filter 
for retro stars and icons because I know a few of these icons don't have the retro stars tag they just have the icons tag um so I think if I scroll down a little bit here we went through the major ones oh we forgot uh Rivaldo here this is the shapeshifter oh, yeah Rivaldo. yeah he comes a striker and he's the the main reward in the reward path after you claim everything so it's really interesting to see him as striker there uh, good stats, mm -hmm. good stats. I love that it's 5-5. Five, five. I like it. Oh yeah, 5-5 five, is going to be nice. And I, I've seen him being used on some top, uh, top accounts, which is really cool to see. Oh, the other one as well I wanted to show people were asking was Alexis Sanchez, uh, our first CF here. He was from... Um, oh, I mean, he was in top moments. Say... Or I wanted to say uh, fantasy. Yes, that was it. Yep. Yeah, he was in fantasy. He was mm -hmm. one of the few guys who got an OVR upgrade from his uh, real life. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so here's a little bit of look. Oh, I see some people going vamos, Alexis Sanchez. Yep. Shout out to the Chile fans if you're watching. <laughs> here's your, Absolutely. your talisman there. Yeah. Um, let's see, who are we missing? Oh, we put in a Lewandowski. Kind of forgot about him, to be honest. There's a lot of strikers in this event. This, this yeah, it's star-backed. Yeah, a lot to go through. Hey, looking pretty <laughs> solid. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then we got the Trezeguet, and then I think we can head into the Czech as our last 113. But yeah, you can see here's the different uh, event icon player item art with the, the wreaths around it. Oh, we'll just go down to check here. The 113. I want to say... be solid. Yeah. Actually, Tack, I think this action shot was from Summer Celebration. If you remember, was there was it? a... I want to say it was. I don't know, chat. Can you guys confirm this check was Summer Celebration action shot? I don't recall. Oh, I see Luxon yes, goes, summer yes, Summer Celebration. Luxon. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good for confirming. Yeah, that's a good spot. Um, oh, actually, I think we missed Muller. Just a quick little yeah, I saw chat. throw into the 115. Yeah. I love that action shot. Is it from... Uh... GSC, I want to say. Yeah, I think it might have been. He was... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he was right wing for GSC. Mm -hmm. I don't know, chat. Correct us if we got some of these wrong. It's a lot of player items to remember. We are trying our best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then we'll just scroll down a few more here to show the rest of the players. Um, we're kind of getting close um, to giveaway time, but... We don't have time to go through all of these players, but want to give you a look at least. There is that Alejandro Garnacho that, if you remember, won the community vote. He has a 111, so shout out to him there. Otherwise, some other familiar players um, that I think community will be excited to see. Oh, Silas from Screen Team, remember him? Yeah. You can see these, yeah, 106s, 107s are a little more obscure. Uh-huh. Ooh, this is a new action shot for this Ian Wright. Oh, yeah, Ian Wright. Uh, I think this was a, a request for Mari in this wall because, you know, like, Ian Wright terrorizing uh, everyone's teams and being, like, so up there in the power level. In like the, the middle of the season, he was so insane to see him. Uh, I think it was a great home as she was being right there. It was, yeah. That was the football is for everyone um, grant. Mm -hmm. It went out with all the logos and the kits, which is actually still going on right now. Um, if yeah. you have some of those kits, throw them on or the logos. But that right, I know someone putting in right is the king. Yeah, if you, if you remember last year, so many people was using that 93 OVR right. Um, he would terrorize people in, in head to head. It was a, it was impressive. It was just so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and actually another one here. 
I don't know if this is supposed to be a throwback to the kickoff rivalry, Sancho, but if you remember, there was the first event of FIFA Mobile in 2022, which was called New Beginning. So this is a little bit of an even further throwback. It was a Jaden Sancho was was in there, and I remember a lot of people were kind of excited. Um, and if you know the situation around that one, it was, it was kind of interesting. But like the first event of FIFA Mobile, and people were really talking about this one. Um, and then like, he was also in kickoff rivalry, so um, wanted to to throw that one in. New Beginnings was a banger. It was a good event. It feels like so long ago. It was like a year and a half ago, which is crazy. Oh, that was uh, that was fun. <laughs> that was. Yeah. Uh, I had a lot of fun today. I can also say that, that zero individuals from the chat got our hashtag correct today for the giveaway. <laughs> I don't think anyone was going to get it. However, we did give a little bit of a sneak peek in the event in the uh, Vintage Collection Center or the Vintage Collection Chapter. There was one of the, the emotes there of Mr. Manager that we chose. <laughs> That's a great tip. Let's let's make some suspense here. Let's see if someone can get it uh, in chat before we actually reveal the keyword. <laughs> it was all. It's all one word, by the way. Oh, I think I saw someone get it. I saw one. I saw one. It's saw not one. cross spam, guys. <laughs> no. Let's drop it down here in chat. Let's pull it up. Yeah. <laughs> We're going with hashtag extra salt was one of the emotes that was there. This is a really, this was a throwback from like, I want to say over two years ago. Um, it was like an April Fool's event with the Mr. Manager emotes that were going out to everybody. And we, if you came in on like April 1st or March 31st, um, you got the four Mr. Manager emotes of which now you can get them in retro stars. Um, and one of them was called extra salt. So Extra Salt, Cross Band, Hometown Homies was another one. And then, oh, there's a thumbs up. I forget what the thumbs up was called. But in any case, Tack, drop in that Extra Salt. Everybody's doing it. And I'm just going to list yep. out the giveaway options here. So if you do win, we're going to do five giveaways. Um, it is your choice of one of these five untradeable icons. You get a choice between the 117 Petit, 117 Beckham, 117 Van der Sar, 116 Zanetti, 116 Al Owairan. Actually, I should say icon slash hero since Al Owairan is a hero. But in any case, if you Absolutely. win one of these giveaways, you get your choice of one of those five hero slash icons when the event goes live in. It's not on Thursday, guys. Well, technically, it is Thursday. All right, where yeah. you are. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's thinking time because, well, with the new reset time change, uh, the the time of the event that's going to be released, of course, will depend a little bit. And since it's 1 a.m. UTC, it really depends on where you are in the world. So we heavily recommend you just to go like to our Twitter and checking out the new reset time for your region. Um, all you can say now, it's 18 hours before it should be. So do your calculations, prepare ahead. It's going to be a little bit different. You can also think that's five hours ahead, but in the past day. So think about it real, real. Is it five? Sorry if I'm confusing you guys. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a bit before. Yeah, so it's 18 yeah 18 hours earlier, but uh, so it's technically if you're used to the event going live at um, Pacific time, 12 p.m. Pacific time on a Thursday, it'll go live for you 6 p.m. Pacific time on a Wednesday. So if you're doing it UK time, it would be instead of it being um, so if you're in the UK, it would normally be 8 p.m. UK time on the Thursday. Now it is 2 a.m. on Thursday morning. So we have that daily reset time change article with all the different time zones, um, all the different big cities, just so you can figure out. So like, TAC, if you're in Brazil, it used to be 4 p.m. Now it's going to be 10 p.m. 10 p.m., exactly. It seems awesome. like we have our first winner. Do you want to try this one out, Antoine? 
Because I don't. <laughs> sure, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> All right, so let's pull that up on screen. And our first winner here is Nishant Chandelia. Nishant Tangelia. Congrats. I, I think it did really well. I think it did really well. I was just intimidated by the length of the username. At the end of the day, it did well. Congrats. Uh, you received Congrats. a message from our team and you'll be able to pick one of the rewards. Uh, just recalling, it's 117 PT CDM, 117 David Beckham at CM, 117 Bundler Star, uh, 116 Zanetti, or 116 Said Oluwetan. Exactly, some good giveaway rewards on this stream. And make sure you follow us. Yep. Follow our Twitch channel, otherwise it's difficult for us to get in contact with some of the winners. Um, so, as they say, smash that uh, sub button. <laughs> you did really well. Like I'm so good at this. Content creator. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I think we got our second giveaway winner. Tack, this is all yours. You got this one, it's easy. All right, let's put it up on screen. Our second giveaway winner is Kislek. So good. Congratulations, Kislek. You just won a very solid player item for your team. Preparing ahead for Retro Stars, for all that, you know, like competitive matches that we have planned for you. I think it will give you a boost. So congrats again. Congrats. Actually, while we're here, I'm just gonna keep going through some of the, the player stats so that some of you have already put in your giveaway um, entry can keep uh, following the stream here. Another one I think is Ronald Araujo at the 112. He's had some similar player items in this OVR, but another option to get him if you found it too difficult beforehand. And then that Di Natale that was a 104. He's back as a 112, so watch out. Anaki Williams. Bless. Another guy who plays better than his OVR. I saw this, was it a Absolutely. 109 in Naki Williams? And he was tearing it up? Watch out, this 112? Whew, get out of the way. All right, our third winner is ready. Um, let's pull it up on screen while you show us some nice player items. The third winner is BBG FIFA. Congratulations. Keep an eye out, we're going to receive a message from our team. Oh, the Harry Kane with the um, UCL action shot. The second reward for those those weekend matches. Nice, yeah. nice throwback. <laughs> and you got a Rui Costa. It's been a while, I feel like, since we saw Rui Costa. Mm -hmm. When was the last event? I don't recall. In a while. Oh, that's a good one. I do one. remember one in that's Summer Celebration, one. though. And Casper Schmeichel. This one's a kickoff one? rivalry. Might have been. I don't know. Chat, correct us if we're wrong. We're usually pretty good about these. <laughs> All right, our fourth winner is ready. Let's pull it up on screen. Our fourth winner, uh, it's Ivan Maulana. Congratulations. Don't forget to follow us because you're going to receive a message from either EAJs and our own account just to get more information to send you your reward. Congrats again. And I just uh, Alejandro up Garnacho. Garnacho. Yeah, yeah, he had really good pace, right? 151 for a 111? It's good. Yeah, exactly. For his OVR, pretty solid. And a little shapeshifters Dizai here at CDM. Nice. And then a Chiro Immobile from, I want to say this was Toddy. We haven't seen an Immobile item in a while. Chiro. Ah, this action shot is really familiar. And I'll try to recall it while uh, I go through the la final and last winner. For today, the fifth winner, let's pull it up on screen, is Thunderjaw underscore O2. Congratulations. This wraps up our giveaway section. And this also 
kind of like wraps up our show today. Uh, I was really happy. Had a lot of fun today. Um, don't know about you guys in chat. Uh, it was it was really special for us. So uh, glad to see the initial reaction there. Um, excited to see you all on the pitch. Yeah, this is a fun stream. I think we got a lot of cool community items in here. Players, vanity emotes. Like as someone put dub show. I agree. This is a fun one. Very community focused. What? And I'm looking forward to the event tomorrow. I think it'll be a lot to do, some cool rewards. And uh, I'm glad we could showcase it to you guys first here. Like Tack and I love doing this. It's so much fun. Yeah, it's good to, you know, like have this instant uh, in real time connection with you guys, see the reactions and just have a dialogue with you. It's great. It's all about celebrating Absolutely. the community. So yeah, um, I guess just a final, final reminder, Retro Stars does not launch at the regular time. So 18 hours earlier, we'll see you guys there when it launches. Hope the new time does work for you. But like we mentioned, check out our Twitter. We'll also drop the link here in chat if you're still in chat, just to go see what the time is. But um, it's been a blast. And then Retro Stars is a blast from the past. So- um, Oh my God, my you said it. it. <laughs> I had to say it. I had to say it. <laughs> oh, I couldn't hold back. I was holding right, back. I was an hour and I was like, there. I gotta say it. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Well, that wraps it up from us. Thank you. And we'll catch you guys next time. See y'all. See you. Thank you.